Hello mes amis, un grand air, and this is the vlog of a misérable, and the ABCD. I'm here today in the Jardin du Luxembourg again with the lovely Marius. Uh, we're here because she decided to talk to her crush, yay! And I wanted to make a vlog out of this act of bravery that will surely deeply inspire you, my dear beautiful existing viewers. Share, subscribe, love me. Yes. But the lady hasn't shown up yet. Yet. We've waited and waited and she hasn't come yet. Yeah, but I'm afraid I scared her off. Do you think she noticed you? Serious? Moi, je m'en sens pas ça. Je m'attendais à rien, mais là. Ah, tiens, c'est bien, je reste. Pourquoi est-ce que tu tentais de stocker une stockeuse? T'as rien d'autre à faire? Ah bah sympa. May May I suggest you to switch to English so that my beautiful existing viewers can understand what you say? Déjà, si tu savais éditer cette vidéo et mettre des sous-titres, t'aurais pas ce problème. And may I remind you that you should. Ask the association before you post the videos. Anyway, as someone once said, I have nothing to hide. My dear beautiful existing viewers, the one and only Angel Ras. I'm not here to be entertaining. Why don't you use the opportunity of such a bright day to talk about, I don't know, climate change? Because it's boring and depressing. You're not here to be entertaining either. You're here to inform. Pourquoi t'es là? Why did you decide to gratify us with the honor of your presence? Because you didn't check the association ABCD before you post your last video. We won't let it pass. Yes, because you're boring. I'm the only one here who knows how to entertain an audience. It's not about entertaining the audience. It's about what they need. Why not both? Uh, If you want to make both, then go ahead. But I have to talk about the use of the GoPro because it's not in our rules. Is that a joke? Uh, yes, I even make. Okay, okay, I made a list at the last reunion. Like, you don't ask the collective when you make decisions about the channel and about the GoPro. You never show up at meeting to meetings. You don't work on editing. And you choose superficial subject. Mais Nick, ça fait genre une semaine quoi. And stop make bets on my sexuality. It's embarrassing. It's none of your concern, nor the concern of your audience. I mean, what you're trying to achieve here is, if you want my attention, then you need to get it. I'm just trying to bring fun to your politics. To make it relatable. Relatable? Are you kidding me? I mean, like, you're, you're disorganized and imprecise, and I mean, like, your snarky comments are nothing but snarky. They're not relatable. I'm like, okay, you know, you know what? Just come at the meeting at the Cafe Misa tomorrow and bring the dog home. I trust you in that. And you know what? You can just pause this video, I don't care. Hello again, my dear beautiful existing viewers, as it was planned from the beginning, right Marius? Definitely. As it was planned from the beginning, we're gonna talk about heavy shit that you don't want to hear about, but that you obviously need to hear about, like seduction, rape culture. Wow. Oh. Anyway, so in 2006, yes, Tarana Burke uh, started the hashtag MeToo on Twitter to free the words of like victims of sexual harassment or sexual assaults. And like it only exploded two years ago, so 10 years after the hashtag was thrown, kinda. It's, it's, you know, black women, they're always ahead of their times in their fights. And yeah, it exploded because 
white women spread the hashtag me too but, but we're gonna we're not gonna talk about it it's not our place obviously yeah and among the names uh the big names there were harvey winston weinstein oh yeah harvey the, weinstein was exposed by the hashtag me too yeah it was a, a producer or something and um yeah the movement spread into different countries and in france we had the hashtag balance ton port uh, it was thrown by uh, Sandra Muller. Yeah, exactly, Sandra Muller, and I'm not telling it because I'm totally on the Wikipedia page. Yeah, she's, a oh, <laughs> she's a journalist, yes. and uh, yeah, it was a little bit before uh, the Me Too thing. Yes, actually, how do you know that? But probably because you also checked the Wikipedia page before. We're informed, we're professional, we're doing that right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, anyway, and the French media, so they treated the movement uh, hashtag me too or hashtag balance comport like... Uh, Freaking witch hunt. Yes, that's how they defined it. A, a witch hunt, like, like. But an anti-men witch hunt. Like, as if since if dudes were, you know, saying hello to a woman in the elevator, the, the woman was going to, you know, burn him or, or just grab his balls and rip them off. Yeah, just the words of the victims. I mean, you know, uh, during Renaissance, uh, there are witch hunts, and who were the victims? I'm not checking Wikipedia on that. I guess it's women. Powerful women. Yeah, and talking about powerful surprise. women, uh, Catherine Deneuve, uh, she signed, you know, that tribune for uh, the freedom of being bothered? Bother? Yes, it's like uh, le droit de se faire importuner. Or something like that. Yeah. Seriously, it yeah. was all mixed up. Yeah, it's it's like you know. I think we. It's all mixed up because in France we have this idea that like fin amour, amour mm -hmm. is so important. Like seduction is part of our DNA as French. Like French characters, they're always uh, seducers, so it's part of our identity. Yeah. And if we defend seduction, we defend Frenchness. Yeah, French culture. Gotta be proud of that Frenchness, indeed. That's that's why the, the French movie industry always defend uh, uh, Roman Polanski and the French media. It was um, Dominique Strauss-Kahn. Oh yeah, we love to defend these dudes. <laughs> yeah, it was at the Sofitec Hotel uh, in Manhattan or something. It was a scandal. Yeah, yeah. Dominique Strauss-Kahn was involved. Well, uh, <laughs> in that um, Sofitel Manhattan hotel scandal, like sexual assault yeah once yeah. again i believe that well and in france we were like the poor guy his life is destroyed sexual assaulters or rapists always have the bene benefit of the doubt or something but the victim always have to justify themselves and have a clean file but yeah. i believe it's like this in other countries but you know, the victims are mostly women and the assaulters are mostly men, but it doesn't mean it's like this all the time. Yeah, it, it can be otherwise, but usually it's like that, so it's, it's just a demonstration of, you know, patriarchal power d dynamics and all. Like, of course, uh, you've heard it thousands of times, I guess, no, no, no. Anyway, so, yeah, it's like that. Uh, but I think it's worse in, it's like that everywhere, but it's worse in France, that's our point. Because, because of this culture. Because of la fin amour, because of the seduction, because of all that. Yeah. And also it's, it's like straight, it's straight patterns because, you know, the weak woman is seduced by the strong man. man. Uh, but in the end it can also happen in like queer culture, because yes. Uh, you don't wake up woke because you're queer uh, and like people are forced to do sexual shits all the time even in even when they're queer and, and like so that's why we should question ourselves about consent and stuff for real like, it can happen still and yeah uh, uh, woman I talk uh, if you see this video I, I would like to apologize for my creepy behavior I'm, I mean it, it doesn't erase what I did but yeah, if you watch this video I'm sorry Again. Oops. <laughs>
Désolée.